These protesters sang into the evening to say they will survive the government's push to make them work longer. President Emmanuel Macron's plan to extend the retirement age saw more than a million people take to the streets. One union estimated more than two million nationwide. There were some clashes in Paris with dozens of arrests. However, the mood was mostly peaceful with one message. This pension reform is unfair. We already give a lot. To ask us to make one more effort, well, there's come a point when you can't push us. There were mass protests here in Marseille, as well as Lyon, Montpellier and Nantes, an estimated 200 demonstrations in all. The strikes disrupted public transport, schools and government administration. The president, speaking from a French-Spanish summit in Barcelona, defended what he called a fair and responsible reform. We are now going to begin working on the government's proposal with debate in parliament. All political parties in the National Assembly and Senate will have their say on this reform so that we can implement it. The reform was presented to the electorate and validated. It is fair and responsible. Unions don't want any of it. They say the protest now is just the beginning. We are united and determined to get this pension reform scrapped. That's why the unions are calling for a new day of strikes and protests on the 31st of January. Monsieur Falcon. MPs and senators will start looking at the proposed legislation in early February. The government wants it enacted by the end of the summer. In between time, unions and workers vow to stop it in its tracks.